think that's part of the problem that you were mentioning. Drew them up. Sometimes you can, you can confuse justice with anger. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Praise the Lord, New Beginnings. Uh, <laughs> uh, we thank God and we've been uh, just enjoying our time in fellowship with Elder Hale. It's a delight to have him tonight. Tonight, is we're, uh, tonight we want to continue our journey at Roundtable about uh, discussing the issues about what's going on in the world and, and what's happening now. And one of the things that a conversation that me and my friend Elder Hale had was about understanding the preparation about people being prepared for the coming of Christ and how we have lost the urgency about understanding that any hour, any second, he could come back. And yes, we know there is a fulfilling of him coming back. Yes. But are we preparing ourselves? Because preparation was is a message I preached on about uh, Sunday, I think it's last Sunday or Sunday before, but how important preparation is. And, and the best way to look at preparation is that understanding today, uh, if we use a nurse, if we lose somebody like going into a, a care patient, right. they have to prepare and suit up Yes. And cover for protection, mm -hmm. but go into infection, but not be contaminated, operate, and come out mm, untouched. Yes. But there is a preparing of suiting up right. for entry. That's right. And so we can't prepare to enter into right. the kingdom, enter into heaven, right. unless we are suited up in righteousness, yes. suited up in God, in Christ Jesus. Yes. Right. But understanding we are suiting up in the things of the world and have lost the expectation and the preparation because prayer without preparation leads to frustration. Yes. So we've got to understand it. Tonight I want to just get into your heart, Elder Hill, and really just open up for us. And tonight we're going to come from uh, Amos. We're going to talk yes. from the book of Amos. Yes. yes. Uh, and I want, the, again, as you come free reign to talk from your heart and time is of no issue, but we want to really take time and dig in because our number one goal is understanding, and we talked about this, about the essential, yes. about how essential yes. Yes. Pastors and real preachers yes. are, even as essential as nurses yes. and doctors and police officers and paramedics and fire. We have to realize that we are essential in your spiritual preparation. That's right. Your spiritual deliverance. Right. Your spiritual healing, and that we must be essential yes. in our relationship with Christ and being suited and prepared to bring His word to His people. Yes, sir. Amen. So with that, uh, you have seen what's going on in the world. The pandemic. Uh, how people are responding. Everybody's got so many different philosophy. Fear is fighting faith yes. and peace has been uh, ejected and uh, commitment and responsibility have seemed to come into war each other. But understanding that we're in the world that we're in the last days. Yes. Yes. So open up your heart and talk to us about why the Lord, again, we talked about Amos and from the fourth chapter about yes. why this is prevalent for today. And we just want to have a good time tonight. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> well, I'm honored to be here. I'm pleased to be here. Thank you so much, Pastor. We love you and New Beginnings. Uh, just wanted to share with you all, uh, and I, this is what you want, pulling from my heart, what's yeah. been heavy on my heart, is uh, uh, the times. Woo. The yes. times that we're in. Yes. Uh, prophecy being fulfilled. Right. Uh, and uh, that's really what's been heavy on my heart. Now, that being said, I think there's a reason why, I mean, it's almost like when 19 went to 20, all these things started taking place, I mean, just all of a sudden. And so, uh, I think there's a reason we need to maintain focus, mm. 2020 focus, in that we as leaders, we as spiritual leaders, we must maintain where we are as Come essentials. On. We talked about essentials. Yes. We're spiritual leaders. Okay? Amen. Come We're on. spiritual leaders. So we've got to focus and keep the people focused right. on the spiritual realm. Right. And, and and it's easy to get caught up. And I'm first uh, I've, I've been there many times, even this year. Uh, with good reason. Come a on. lot of stuff going on. Yes. Whether it be fears, whether it be upset with, with certain things as far as uh, injustices or what have you and, and everything, views, Come political on. views, all these different things yes. that's going on. Uh, uh, you know, what God is letting me know, he says, son, you must stay focused on the spiritual realm. Right. Come on, yes. You must stay focused on the yes. spiritual realm because you are a spiritual leader. Amen. So, uh and so uh, I've been in a prophet's blood 
because that's prophecy. So, well, let me ask you a question right there. Let me just, because for me, I think this is something that one of the big issues that happened because when we talk about prophecy and prophets, uh, I've got some guys that I work with that are preachers and they, they, they start tearing down big, you know, teaching to all these big yeah. pastors and preachers. But anyway, uh, in that is that how come the prophet prophets didn't hear or speak about this coming? And today you've got many that say certain things in uh, prophecy. Uh, did nobody prophesy about this corona? Nobody uh, was able oh, to hear. Oh, but they did. I, that's what I'm mean. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, because many of them, they first, they attack. Yeah. Instead of understanding, you know. That it's there. Come on. But see, the, the word of God is spirit and it's life. Come on. And first off, you're not going to really understand the word of God unless you have a relationship with God. Yeah. So you, 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 you know, if you don't really have a relationship with God, that's right. And you're not living a safe life and say everybody's all you know, you proclaim salvation, but you know, living safe and proclaiming salvation is two different things. Amen. Amen. Living Amen. a life, Amen. Talking about the life is way, 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 way too different. Way, way too different yes. things. So what happens is, you know, we, without a relationship, start trying to interpret an assumption. Start making assumptions. Assumption can really 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 be dangerous see assumption without truth is dangerous Woo. assumption without truth is dangerous Amen. and then we got a lot of assum assuming going on because everybody's so smart that they're just assuming without truth see the holy ghost is the spirit of truth amen and john 16 13 lets us know he's the spirit of truth come on so we got to be in the spirit to know what the Spirit is saying to the church. Right. But the Spirit is saying even in the Word of God, because the Word of God is Spirit and it's life. That's right. See, so if you're not in the Spirit, you don't have a relationship with God, Come on. you're going you to be really thinking you're telling the truth, but you're really just making assumptions. Yes. Come on. So that's where we are with people, a lot of people make assumptions without a relationship with God. That's why we got to really draw close to God, have our ear close to His mouth, and really be in the spirit realm, be in the spirit of God, in order to rightly divide, to really un understand where we are, what's going on around us, and that it is relevant. The yes. word of God, it is relevant. Yes, it and is. It is prophetic, and it's fulfilling it right where we are yes. right now. Right. Come on. Uh, in, in Amos chapter 4, verse 10, starting there and going down to verse 12, it says, I have sent among you the pestilence. Pestilence is the same thing as plague. There. Come on. Plague, yes. Oh, uh, plague. Uh, this coronavirus is a plague. Mm -hmm. Okay. He said, I have seen among you the coronavirus. I put coronavirus there instead of pestilence. Yeah, yeah. Because plague and coronavirus and pestilence are the same thing. Yes. All right. Amen. I have sent among you the coronavirus. Coronavirus. At, uh, or plague after the, uh, the manner of Egypt. Egypt was, was, uh, was attacked with all these plagues. Right. Okay. We all know the story there. Then it says, get this, your young men have I slain with a sword. Mm -hmm. We're going to let that resonate. Yeah, come on, I know yeah, that. Yeah. People don't respect. Uh, come on. No respect. respect. Yes. yes. Yep, your young people. Uh, our, uh, yes. our young men. Uh -huh. Yeah, bodies land with a smell. Yeah, bodies everywhere. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. And he says, and have taken away your horses. And have made the stink of your camps to come up into your nostrils. Okay? And still to not. And he says, ye, ye, Yet have you not returned unto me, said the Lord. Come on. See? Revealed life. All this is an attack, yes, but God is in control of it, yep. all of it. Yep. He's allowed these things to happen for the greater good to get his people to repent. Come on. To get his people ready. Ready. For his return. To get his people to begin to prepare. See, we're not preparing spiritually. We're no, preparing no. for everything else. Yes. Come on, come but on. We're, we're not preparing spiritually for yes. the return of the Lord. Yes. Then he goes on to say in verse 11, I have overthrown some of you as God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, and ye were as a firebrand plucked out of the burning yet, <laughs> yet have you not returned unto me, said the out. Lord. I have pulled you out. I rescued you out as a firebrand. From this type of destruction, and yet you have yeah, not, not returned. returned. Okay, and in verse twelve, it says, "It therefore thus will I do unto thee, O Israel, and because I will do this unto thee, prepare to meet thy God, O Israel." Mm. 
Israel, the church is a type of Israel. Yes. So what, what, the, what the word I'm trying to do is get the church prepared. I, I've often said, the Lord in John 17 said, I've called you to be one as I am a father or one. Okay? I prepared, I'm preparing you. I'm preparing you Come on. to change the world. Yes. He said, I'm not going to pray for the world. Yeah. I'm praying for you, you so that you can change the world. Come on. So, so goes the church. Yeah. So goes the world. We can't complain and get all mad about what's going on in the world if we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing as the church. Come on. Amen. Okay? Amen. Knowing that we need to prepare to meet the Lord, that we need to be preparing ourselves to be ready ourselves and to get other people ready and prepared. I think I think Christians today is, is, is today when you say prepared, ready, it's getting ready, getting dressed to go to church. They're prepared for a good service. They're prepared for a yes, feeling, a concert, a a, something that tickles me, makes me feel goosebumps. Yes. But coming to church, understanding that you're coming to, uh, I like to put it like this, that we're, we're in the army of the Lord. This is, we are outposts to come and we receive training and understand what we're fighting because we're in spiritual warfare. But many of us are not coming prepared to grow spiritually because a lot of people today, there's no meditation, no prayer. There's no fasting. There's no seeking God. It's about understanding that church, I need I need a church for my kids so I can have a babysitter. I need this, I need that. I need everything to, to please me so that way I can set and enjoy mm -hmm. service. Enjoy service. Mm -hmm. But then we got to sit back and understand that you're here to get a word from God and to understand that you're in the fight because we wrestle not against flesh and blood because now church has been totally wiped away about how you see it mm -hmm. because we have to preach to empty pews. we got to preach to, to the light because no matter what we have to be instant in season out of season we can't make excuses but today the, uh, the we have to understand that the enemy's creeping in and taking people at his will amen and just dragging them because for me and this all leads to this this question the definition of Christianity people think is a life without trouble a life without struggle because now that I'm a Christian, everything should be perfectly, the perfect life. I'm going to have everything I ask for. I'm going to walk in the anointing of God. I'm blessed and highly favored. The Lord is my Savior. I abide under the shadow. But all these things, and they think Christianity is this, I got the, I'm, I'm good now. And today, not understanding a faith that cannot be tested, a faith that cannot be trusted, but you're going to go through some stuff. That's right. Yes. But you got a question real quick? I just had a statement. There's preparation for outward performance and people pleasing, but there's no preparation for spiritual growth. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, man. Because we, that's we, real good. we want to perform to be liked. That's the thing. If, if I'm not liked, because you got to think about it. When you get on Facebook and Twitter, you, you have a following. Mm -hmm. And you try to keep the following yeah. right. because you're you're pleasing the people with what they want right. you to do. So we're understanding if I get a great following, yes. do not those that they are following, that person that become a god. Exactly. Yeah, because they, they put them on the pedestal. They put them on the pedestal. And then yeah. if they don't Absolutely. like them, here's what, I can delete you. I right. can block you. Yes. Right. But I can control my own face, my own world, yes. right. by my own authority. Mm -hmm. But everything on Facebook, God's going to judge you according to His book. Right. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. So they become, a, and, I, and he, I'm like, boy, you're right. And they become a type of God, yes. and people become so obsessed yes. that yes. you can't see anything. Here's the thing. And this is one of the things. Yes, computer technology is great. But the one thing about it, you can be sitting here going through the word and all of a sudden because you have put everything out there. Now you get a text. Now yeah. you get an ugly email. Now yeah. you get something yeah. that takes your focus yes. off of that word. Yes. But if I'm in this, yes. you I can't text me. You can't email yes. me. You can't, uh, oh, <laughs> you can't uh, yes. what is it, uh, tweet me yes. when I'm in the written word of God. Right. Because this here, I'm totally focused. Yes. But this here, I've got gossip, backbiting, pornography. I've yes. got all this yes. illegal, nasty yes. stuff. Yeah. And therefore, if you want to know who I am, yeah. check my history. Right. And it's so consuming and it's so captivating. Yes. To the place to where all of these things can take place. Yes. Calamities. Mm -hmm. 
all of these uh, destructions yes. and disasters, pestilences, all these things can take place, and yet a person will really still not return to the Lord. Mm. That's what it, That's with what all of this yeah. that's going on, pestilences, every, everything you imaginable was happening, and you still not return to God, the focus is off real bad. And not only that, it's a seduce these are seducing spirits. See, that's what these are seducing spirits. The spirits of seduction. And look to get the people bound. Come on, come on. To where they're captivated, so captivated, and and so deceived, so caught up in deception. They think what they're doing is right when we're what they're doing is wrong. Again. It takes the spirit of truth. It takes the Holy Ghost. It takes the old-fashioned power of the Holy Ghost and the word of the living God and the primitive relationship with God again to destroy these yokes and get this strong delusion and deception out of the hearts and the minds of the people in order for us to repent and get ready for the return of Christ and get ready for this great revival. Come on. <laughs> hey, hey, Amen. Amen. I, Hallelujah. And I, I believe too that one of the things that we see now, and I was, when we were going through this, the uh, Lord led me to Isaiah 40, and it's about comfort ye the people. But he says, comfort ye the people, my people. Speak conformity to Jerusalem. Inquire unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she has received of the Lord's hand. No, this is the chat. God says, I'm going to, to chastise. And people don't know the difference between chastisement and the attack of the enemy. Right. And therefore, how do I identify the love chastening and the attack of evil, but understanding that he will not allow me to be overtaken, but I'm able to be corrected, so therefore I can have victory, but I've got to know the touch of the Father's hand. Amen. Because the one thing a father does in the natural is that when he Good. chases a child, Good. he's speaking to the child, so you know why daddy done yes, this, sir. why daddy is doing this, so the chastisement yes. brings comfort in his mind. Oh, in yes. his voice <laughs> yes. that I'm doing this because yes. I love you because you're getting out of line and you're not taking me serious and therefore I've got to correct you. But the father always comforts with a voice. And then after the voice brings comfort to its understanding the knowledge from that child. Well, the only reason daddy had to chasten me, he, his hand brought correction. His voice brings healing. Yes. His voice brings comfort so like and know, understanding. Know my voice. Yes. So in that, I can repent. Yes. I'm sorry. I can repent knowing that if I go back to it, I remember the touch. Yes. I think God today has got a lot of prodigal yes. children away from mm. them, yes, that sir. they need to come back. Yes, sir. Well, then you go on. He says, the voice of him that cries yes. in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight. In the desert, a highway for the Lord. Every valley shall be exalted. Every mountain and hill shall be made low. And the crooked be made straight. And the and rough places plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. Yes. And all flesh shall see it together. Yes. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken yes. it. Yes. He's going to bring down some high things. Yes. He's going to elevate the low things. He's going to straighten out yes. some crooked things. Yes, he is. And the rough things he's going to make plain. Yes. But you've got to be willing to go through the process That's it. of understanding I'm preparing you for greatness. Yes. But if you can't handle the process, then the preparation will be in vain. Absolutely. So today, uh, and since I've come into ministry, I remember that we're coming in and watching you when you would preach and first I first met you. I'm sitting in a pulpit, and man, it was this dude like 90 feet high. And I'm sitting there, but the one thing I watched, and I was sitting there, and I remember still today, the Holy Spirit said, listen to truth and watch power. And I never told you that. And I'm sitting there, and I was stuck because when well, the Spirit says watch, because truth sometimes has to walk alone. Amen. And truth, because remember I said, truth has to tower over everything that is alive. It does. Mm. And good. truth will it's give good. you power to break bondage. It's a lie. So when you stood, the Lord said, watch truth. <clears throat> watch. You'll see truth. <clears throat> You're going to see power. But listen to the truth so you can have power. Because yes. he is truth. So when you were standing there and I watched, and in that, 
the Lord, as I watched and watched you minister and watched you preach and listening, that's one thing I've always done over the years. I listen to those the Spirit will say, listen. And then there's other times the Lord just said, take heed, but listen. But when you stood there and watched, because when I say that, you have to know the truth of God, because as I walk with God, I'm not going to be liked by the world. Right. I mean, that's right. Where you can go from from great multitudes down yes. to five, yes. But truth ne never yeah, changes stays the same. because power stays the same. Stays the truth. Same. Amen. So I stays have to still preach and teach, but no truth. The truth is the same in two. Yes. Truth is the same in many. Yes. But truth will always bring the revelation yes. of the illumination of His power. Yes. But can I preach, teach? And, it, and be the instrument that understands that, Lord, I was liked over in religion, but I'm hated in relationship. Amen. Because truth has delivered me from religion, freedom, freedom yes. and now my freedom liberates me, but I'm still locked in my mind. Yes, yes. Because people don't realize that pastors and preachers, truth, men of God, are essential. <clears throat> we become essential because, again, We've got to go in and out in places people don't want to go. Right. And we got to battle devils and demons right. that have had them bound right. for years. Right. And be able to have the keys and the authority, but right. we got to stand in truth. Right. And when you tell the person the truth, mm -hmm. either they're going to receive it to come out, mm -hmm. or they're going to reject it to stay in. Absolutely. So today, I think, has happened over the years, is that church has gotten comfortable and people have gotten complacent because God's people are being bound. Divorce is running rampant yes. through the church. Uh, angry at racism. Angry yes. at generations of things that have taken place. Yes. Now all of a sudden this rises to the top. And now we're more focused on a pandemic mm -hmm. than we are the answer to the pandemic. And yeah. anger is, is something that, that mm. the end has been fueling mm. uh, throughout. Yes. Throughout this pandemic. Yes. Anger and sin not. Yeah, yeah. And, and even throughout this this year especially yes. uh, it's been fueled by the enemy anger and what that does at least the hatred mm. and so uh, again uh, we need not confuse anger with justice mm. it's easy to do we, we Okay, well, it's easy to do. Yes, sir. What's the we can line? be we can, there's a thin line that we can be we can be we gotta seek justice. We must seek justice. What is the cost of justice? There is a cost. Yes. And so we can't be angry and seek and seek justice. You seek justice through truth. <laughs> yes. Truth reveals justice. Correct. Truth reveals justice. Jesus said, I am the way. The truth and the life. The Holy Ghost is the Spirit of truth. Right. Again, John 16. Ooh, come on. See, so it's through the Spirit of Christ, it's through the Spirit of God that we should seek justice. If not, then it's easy to seek justice through anger. Come on. We must seek justice through truth. Now, you can't have truth without love. Because the Bible says yes. in Ephesians, speak the truth in love. That's right. They go together. They, 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 go, they don't separate. Can't separate them. And, and the Bible says in John chapter 1 that Jesus is full of grace and, and truth. truth. Grace is love. So, we, we, so the Spirit of God, that's why we've got to be spiritual. We're spiritual leaders now. It's easy to get caught up. Spiritual people. We're spiritual people. So we've got to make sure that we're seeking justice through truth and love mm. on right and not time. anger on the right because time. anger turns into hatred yes and we don't want that no. uh, the late Dr. King said hate can't drive out hate mm. it takes love to drive out hate and it takes the love of God Amen. he was talking about the love of God because I look I can't love like I'm supposed to it has to be a godly love well, yes. look, 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 filial love is on feeling yes. it, 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 it takes God's love yeah, okay, okay. To, to triumph to this stuff <laughs> we're going through right now man because because can I if somebody if, if somebody it smacks me Lord forgive me they don't know what they do there's right. certain levels but you understand that in order for me to have love in justice what this is revealing I believe and what reveals that when we fall and anger rises and then yep. there's there you want justice but you're angry 
what happens is is that it reveals the hiddenness, the darkness in us yes, that yeah. rises because wow. it wasn't the fact of what I saw happen. It's the anger I've been carrying that now is the opportunity for me to release it wow. and be able to have somebody justify my anger because I couldn't release it. I was beaten as a child. I was molested. Wow. I've carried all this hidden things. Come on. I don't like my life. I don't like where I'm at. Now, all of a sudden, what looks like me is being mistreated externally. Now, I can eternally evolve and blow up and get away with it but it's been years and i've been in church i've been saved i've yeah. been in the choir yeah. i've been a preacher i've been a, yeah. and all of a sudden anger's rising because i never confronted the giant that com that made me go into a small place i'm it blows me away the things we carry yeah. because the holy spirit will say that you've been carrying this you need you've been holding this yeah. and he wants it in private but we won't give it to him so therefore god says i will get it out of you because no sin shall enter in. And you can't say you love me if there's hidden areas you won't let me so move into. So that's the process. Woo! The process is, his, is him getting it out of us. Mm. Manifestation. So there's yes. the trials and the, all this that's going on is bringing it out. Then, right? right? That's part of the process he was talking about. Right. As soon as you face them, when you look at when somebody gets upset real quick, all of a sudden they can't hold anymore because they've been fighting with the Holy Spirit in the church, I don't say folks, they've been <laughs> fighting with truth. Now all of a sudden, I can't take anymore and I erupt, but you were just the exit door yeah. for me yeah. to exit yeah. because I can't hold, but if I'll separate, yeah. I can get it back under control and carry this issue into the next place I go. That's good. Because you can, you got, remember Jesus said, the prince of this world cometh, Yes. but he has nothing in me. That's a good word. And the one thing the enemy will do is always tempt with what's in you. Right. So if there is anger, gossip, rage, bitterness, and all this worldly stuff in your mm -hmm. flesh, mm -hmm. he's going to get a hook in there. Mm -hmm. And I think it's over. Uh -oh, I was reading, in, uh, and even in this, if you back up in East England, he said, I got hooks in you. Right. And that's the name, is right? Back to the first chapter. Yes. Chapter. Yes. Verse. Uh, verse. Yes. Now I'm going to put hooks in your children. That's what he said. So if I hook. The, the the give the the family the parents that don't hit the children's children that's it mm. then it's going to generation to generation Woo! generation is because if you look today yeah. most families it will stop yeah and look at where the pain's coming from you got to trace that line back to where the blood yes or where that enemy got in yes, yes. and he's traveled that bloodline that curse because yes. that generational curse has followed Yes. And it's been able to because of how we have allowed it yes. access to yes. a place it should have been cut off. Amen. Yes. And that's about understanding and examining. Yes. So right. when we look at all of this, in preparation is to be, I, 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 I put some stuff out. Preparation is the management principle. Management principle. Management principle. you got to manage some stuff. Mm -hmm. The one thing about management, it has the authority to fire right. and promote. Right. If I'm managing the things of God properly, uh -huh. therefore I understand how to rebuke. Right. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. I, I know how to bound, bind and loose. I know how to bind because right. I'm managing right. with the authority he's given me right. and I've been preparing for where he's taking me. So so we because need management has right. to have a management yeah. team. So we need to ask ourselves, how are we managing? Ooh, stewardship. Well, don't you manage every when you get up in the morning? Here's a day you manage your day. Yeah, right. If you put too much on your schedule, you can't manage. Right. You can't manage dysfunction. You become dysfunctional and you can't function. Therefore, you're stressed. Right. That's right. So understanding God says so if we're not preparing. Ooh, God, come on, come then, on. Then we're not going to manage well. In we other don't. words, I'm not going to survive well. Come on. I'm not going to. I just just barely be making it. Whereas if I'm preparing right, I'm not just surviving, I'm thriving. Ooh. So, so I need to ask myself, how am I managing? Ooh. How am I managing in all this? Yes. How am I handling all this that's going on? Coping. What am I doing? How yes. am I? This, this, this is crazy. How am I handling all this? Well, how are you preparing? Ooh. Yes. I so said, we, so the on, question dude. is, <laughs> so you, you got an oxymoron here. How am I managing? Mm. When we're mad, <laughs> I love this. Well, think about it. We'll sit in front of the television and we receive all the information I gave. Yeah. Ear gave. Then we have mouth gate of conversation. And we hear all everything going on in the world. And today we are so 
fearful of contact and now there is yes. separation yes distancing intimidating yes. and all of these fear. things fear yeah. they are running rapid but people are more concerned and will listen to the governors and think which we're supposed to listen to our to those right. that are in charge right. but we take the approach with a sincere fear of reverence and this is important yes and uh, I'm going to the hospital you're going to anywhere the, the kids going back to school now you're, you're dealing with things that you've never dealt with before because you haven't taken the time to to really understand Lord I, this is an unexpected yes yes but you've understanding that still somebody's got to teach somebody's got to feed somebody somebody still has to go into infected territory right. to perform warfare so somebody can be liberated right now what I mean by that a nurse has to suit up yes prepare right to go in and out right suit up to continue what she has prepared to do in life right. and now suit up to go into something she's never done but you can't get a someone to work on you unless they are prepared to come so in. So we as spiritual leaders have to suit up. So we, we, have so we can't God. trust this can't, but we will if we think about this, if the church took the same approach, come touch on. no unclean things. Come out. Come out from amongst them. They got they got we've got uh we gotta wear our, our, our mask our all the time yeah. because this yeah. year has infected this year has infected and killed how many people because we don't know how to cover it and then this changes your breathing yeah. changes how you do everything because yes. you're controlling that james that tongue that mouth yes but now we are more acceptable because now everybody i'm on I, that's against my 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 rights and what I, yeah. but I, I don't care why because if i become infected or a carrier and i might not show any symptoms mm -hmm. but then you might and then your whole family and we don't take it serious, therefore we don't guard ourselves. Right. Because my life affects right. someone else. Exactly. Yeah, hey, your walk, your walk, your walk, your, your walk. spiritual walk. Yeah, exactly. I can't deliver you if I'm infected by my past, crying right. in my pain in my present, yes. and talking about a future that I'm not prepared to go yes. get. Yes, yes. And see, if we can look in a natural realm yes. of what's going Ooh. on, and we can look, look and see what, what what the enemy's trying to do in, 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 in the world that we're living in and get into the spiritual world and get into the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of Christ. Let Him give us revelation like you're sharing right now. Uh, we'll be able to see ourselves yes, like we're supposed to see ourselves. Come on. Uh, just like you talked about uh, us being focused in and we should. Mm. We need to be careful about how we go in and come out because of this pandemic. We, we need to, to uh, uh, do what we're told concerning the health guidelines, come on, the government guidelines and all of these things. Yes. We need to, like you say, suit up, be ready, all right? And we need to focus in on that, okay? At the same time, I think we need to focus in, like you said, on the spiritual, come on. being suited up and being ready and being yes. prepared and not being infected by sin. Right. Not being infected being infected by the things of the world. Infected right. with pride. In, in pride. Yes. All the things of the flesh. The eyes. The eyes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The, but what we see, yes. what we hear, what we smell, all the senses. Yes. All the things come into the into the senses there. All the senses. And see this this uh, virus affects the senses. Right. The smell, the taste, the then it goes What, is, what does sin do? Yep. Same thing. Yeah, it affects the senses. Sense. And yeah. But you can't see it. But you can't rock. Come on. Exactly. You can't see it. Exactly. But, but. And see, that's another thing. You can't see this. Okay? You can't see the devil because it's spiritual. This is a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual walk. See? And so we must maintain our spiritual walk. Yes. And understand this is spiritual. And, and, and not get so caught up in the carnal part of it, flesh part of it. As pastors, as ministers, as leaders, we must stay spiritual. As, as believers, we must stay as spiritual. Listen, we can go in, and I understand, we can go in.
to even to the government area. I know everything falls into politics now. It's just about yes. everything it does fall into politics. You either on one side or the other. It, 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 you know, uh, and, and, and the media makes sure that you're on one side or the other. And, you know, and, and sometimes that can bring dissension. That can bring division as well. But what I'm saying is, you can go in. For example, we need godly leaders, uh, even in government. We need godly leaders. All right. But we, but but you, it's hard to stay away from corruption. It's it's hard to stay uh, away from contamination. <laughs> Come on, amen. Okay. Come on. We got to really make sure that when we are there, that we have a spiritual walk with God. Yes. And God will give us strategies. Mm. We need strategies. Strat That's right. We're going to have to have some strategies in this. But this, this is serious. Yes. This is serious yes. warfare. This this is not this, now look, this is this is grown this is grown folk warfare. We ain't grown folk warfare now. You see, if you ain't you, you a babe, you ain't gonna be able to survive in this stuff. So this is grown folk warfare. By it being grown folk warfare, we gotta make sure that we're in the spirit. We gotta make sure so that whenever we do go to these places, we won't be polluted and contaminated. Even when we're in government, even when we're, when, we're, when we're marching for justice, we've got to stay in the spirit. See, Dr. King had that balance. Balance is one of my favorite words in Scripture, by the way. Because you, I think you're picking my brain. I think this is part of the reason why I'm here. <laughs> balance is one of my favorite. Yes. Favorite in Scripture. See, you got to maintain balance. you got to make The Bible says uh, a false balance is an abomination. To the Lord, but just wait is his delight, right? As in Proverbs. So, you, you, Dr. King had a balance, yes. Okay, I mean, he had such a good balance, he had the people over here, you know, saying, ah, Yeah, he's far, he, he's he's all, all about the African Americans, and like, yes, he was at the same time. He was all about justice, yes. not just for us, yes. African Americans, but justice for all. Right. And he had a way, to, a way to convey that yes. to where you could accept it. That even what they called it in a book, uh, I, I, I gleaned through a book by him called "The Peaceful Warrior." That's balance. Yeah, he's a warrior. He's a fighter. He can get he can get ruthless with what he's doing, but he's peaceful with it. Yes, Jesus. Said be wise as servants, harmless as dust. Uh, he did cost the cost. Are you not going to send an ambassador There's a balance. peace to see if you can enough to? Let's yeah. talk about this first. Yeah, he said, I'm sending you as lambs among wolves. Come on. Therefore, be wise as serpents yes. and harmless as dust. There's balance. Come on. So you can't maintain that unless you keep your relationship. Tight. So, so with that being said, I, I don't. I, I, I've got to get this in. Then, okay, we talked and we brought, we're talking about how you have some churches. <clears throat> That they never stopped through the pandemic. They, right. They've gone through it. They just and kept I services have going. The utmost respect. And for they them. have some that have shut down. I have the utmost respect for the ones that completely shut did. down and have not come in. And then at all. And then you have some that had to stop, then start. Yes. And then trying to figure out the yes. lay of the land. And I have the utmost respect for them as well. And what we equal amount. Come on. Yeah, for all. all. Yes. Come Strategy. On. And even through that, we talked about how we had. How to, can we do? Let me ask you. Come let on. me ask you, Pastor. Yeah, please. How can we have equal respect for a church that shuts down completely, the church that has never shut down through this, and a church that's kind of going back and forth with it, just kind of touching back and forth with it, trying to gauge it all, and have an equal re amount of respect for all three. How can we do that because without, the, without throwing without throwing mud? Because first of all, we have to understand that before we judge, check yourself. Secondly, understanding that as shepherds, you have to know the, the lay of the land in your people. You've got to make a call because the number one, I see when I said, and I share this with you, the number one priority as a shepherd, protect the flock. And if you've got man. people in your church, and you've got to make a call yes. that you've got to know because spiritually and physically, I am to protect this flock. And the flock, remember, sometimes they have got to go under Yeah, uh, because you got to yeah. <laughs> Because i got to stand So I gave you charge over my house. Right. My people That's good stuff, take man. heed. So therefore, i got to sit back and go. Pastor, so you so have to say you got old, you got older congregation. Yes. you got younger. you got certain issues. you got certain... Then you know that some of them have family. you got certain things. 
But you got to know the spiritual mentality and maturity of your church. Good. Because just because you have a church, I mean, everybody's spiritually mature. And you got to deal with the carnal. You got to deal with the spiritual. Uh -huh. But most of all, I got to say, Lord, what do I do concerning your people? Yes. yes. Concerning your assignment over my life. And when God says, shut it down to be mindful, but you Good. stay faithful to the things I gave you. So through this whole pandemic, I, he gave me some soldiers. He gave me some men in, that will walk with me. And he's taught me that. He said, now, in, when I was praying look, in this, and they'll tell you, I am always looking to evolve and grow strategically, spiritually, understanding that this has brought you to a level where now you start setting in place what I gave you, round table. But if the church was still happening, this may have never come about. But he had a plan... Yeah. Yeah. To Good. execute Good. in a pandemic because God said this didn't catch me off guard. Absolutely. This ain't caught. No, this is absolutely. not something that I'm no. I mean, but I've got Good. to prepare people. There you go. Because okay, before he spoke in the tabernacle, the cloud was the symbol of being prepared, he's getting ready to speak. Mm -hmm. So God is always preparing before he speaks, but we gotta be ready stuff, to be prepared. But Good understanding stuff. that again. I call, I talk to uh, some elder pastors. I talk to uh, a partner of mine, Pastor Aaron. What are they doing in their territories? Because a, a warrior gains the knowledge yes. of understanding. Yes. What are the same like people doing? Yes. Because you can't help me build my wall as Nehemiah unless you're ready to pray, Absolutely. fight, and work. And see, I like what you said. God knew we were going to be in this area. Yes. And he knew what kind of people to be in the area er, era that we're in. Yes. Now, God uses the condition of the world Whew. this rough. And God is using the pandemic and the condition of the world and yes. everything that's going on yes. to initiate mm. bringing his church strategy. Back. Come on. Yes. Because otherwise we would we would be in the same old, same old, doing the same old thing. Come on. But what, what through the through the changes, he is initiating through the Spirit of God strategies. For the church, come on. For his leadership, for his people. That's why we ain't got nothing to worry about. As long as we stay where we're supposed to be with God, our ear up close to His mouth, uh, walking in His Spirit, spending time with Him in consecration, Hallelujah! He will give us strategy well, for such a time as this. Oh, let's listen. Okay, when you look at this, this this is how God. This is what the Lord teaches me. When I was thinking about love, think about David and David's preparation. He was anointed a king with no kingdom. Yes, sir. Thank you. But I was operating as a king in the shepherd's role mm, with somebody else's flock. Preparing. Preparing. But as I was growing, I had a talent and a gift that took me before the king mm, that I was able to bring healing and deliverance to the king. But yet I'm a king myself, anointed with gifts and talents, but I've got to know my place because my season I'm being prepared for. Now, in that, David's preparation came in stages. The shepherd, yeah. now he becomes the wanted, hunted. Yeah. How is a king hunted down and he's a king? He says, i got to take you to a dark place. Yes. Because in the cave of Adullam, a set place, yes. I'm going to bring an army to you. They're going to come in in debt, in discord, all yeah. type of messed up issues. Yeah. Yeah. But when they get into the darkness of your cave, yes. the king comes out with his army. Yes. But I was prepared yeah. because of where I was going. See, see, see. And because, listen, that's leadership. Mm. See, you know, as we like to say, and it's true, you see the glory, but you don't know my story. Mm. Now, see, <laughs> it took him going through the process. Yes. Of trial and error, tests, uh, uh, the hunted, being the hunter and the hunted, Come on. Uh, being misunderstood. I mean, man, we can go on and on with conflicts of David. Come on. Before he made to the throne. See, so a lot of times you see people, you see leaders in position, and you see them operating under the anointing of the Holy Ghost, but you don't know oh, what, what it took to, to get that oil. Absolutely, mm. but, but it was good for us. That's why, that's why David said it was good for me that I have been afflicted. I might learn his statutes. Come on, but but yes, sir. It, 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 but but did all that in the preparation process? Everything. Come it's on. all about preparation. Come on. How are we managing? Yes. And how are you, how are you preparing in a cave? 
Come on. Because today the cave is a place that has eroded away yeah. from the outside element that took place in the confined places see? you can't see. Today we are in separation, mm -hmm. but I wonder how many are going to come out when church is back going full, that when they come out, there's going to be new praise, Good question. new worship. They're going to come out with a new vision, on, a new purpose, because I went in one way, but while I was alone with God, while I was alone with myself, I had a conversation with self and said, self, ain't you tired of dealing with the same old results that I've been by myself a little while? Man, and I had to get with God. And while I was in my house that now is a dreadful place because I didn't realize I was only putting pictures up to mask the pain. Yes. And I never dealt with it because no matter how pretty Amen. my house is, if I'm miserable inside, yes. I'm going to be bruised and hurt, but I'm masking it with a dress happiness, yes. mm -hmm. but not a true joy that only comes from God yes. because I can be in the valley praising Him. Yes. But how can I be there? Because I've been here before. Mm. Oh. I've been here before. Oh. This ain't the first time I've been in the valley. This ain't the first time I've been in a fight. But this is another time that I get to see his glory. <laughs> and people don't realize that, that I, in my in my weakest moments, uh -huh. he says, my strength is made perfect. So God can't perfect until uh -huh. there's a weakness that he can fix. Absolutely. Come on. Good. So Amen. through all of this, people today, you got to realize, it. some people stay in church only because... I have a youth ministry, or I, I'm in the choir, or I'm on the usher board. That's the only thing that I go because that's what keeps me. Then if that's all that keeps you, you have no strength. You have no sustaining power. you got to be rooted and grounded yes. in Christ Jesus. Yes. Because no matter what, Spirit you and I understand now more yes. what Paul says, I'm a prisoner. Yes. Well, yeah. Hallelujah. I love that word prisoner. I'm a prisoner. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, that that, that, that lets us know that lets us know that, that, that we, we, we we can be in captivity Come on. and still be free. <laughs> Because well, you, you, you can't, you can't, you can't like, like, like I said before, you can't put a prisoner in prison. Yeah. I'm already in prison. <laughs> I'm a prisoner of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you may put me in captivity, Come but on. I'm still free. Come on, because I'm still going to give you houses. You yeah. still, you talk yeah, about, you, huh? you yes. talk about preparation, but it brings experience. Preparation brings experience. Come on now. Oh, and then and experience, and then when experience brings development. Yes. Because that preparation you had to go through a process. And develop, all, develop your skills. Yeah, but yeah, because it brought experience. You started having experiences with God, he, and He began to reveal Himself. Then that brought development in your life. But he, he, the, how does yeah. He prepare you? He prepares you from attacks, low yeah, places, yeah. struggles, brokenness. He prepares you through all that because yeah. a prep cook in the kitchen, again, as I was studying, this prep has really got me, is that <laughs> prep, prep, when you prep an item, you have to prep it and it has to hold until it's needed. So you put, and then what happens is it's called shelf life. Okay. <laughs> it's prepared and it can be only held a certain amount of time before it has to be used. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because if it's not used at the day of execution, uh, it out. goes bad. Yes, uh -huh. it's out. Mm. So God says, prepare ye ye heart. Prepare your hearts. Good. Prepare ye the day for the coming of the Lord. Good. Prepare. Because preparing holds. That's good stuff, man. Yes. Holds, yes. shelf life holds yes. until execution. Right. So everything I commit unto the Lord. Yeah. He said he'd keep it. it what? Hallelujah. He'll keep it. So then, if yeah. I've not been preparing nothing to give him, he uh -huh. can't keep it. Uh -huh. Be sober and vigilant. Vigilant. Yeah. Yeah. I can't be drunk and yeah. yeah. prepping yeah. yeah. because you can't see the preparation that when you sit down, you got the finished work. Yes. 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 So you go to a place and get the finished work, yes. but don't understand the preparation it took to get. So what I mean by that, that if you prepare a steak, Diane, you got shiitake mushrooms coming from Japan, you got uh, a steak, a Kobe <laughs> steak prepared in another country. So you got all these elements prepared from different regions come together in one place so that one person can receive something from all over the world but didn't even know you just ate something that came from another country. Oh, wow. Mm. <laughs> Oh, wow. And it was prepared by an uneducated, uh -huh. uh, they didn't finish school, That's the word of God. but yeah. God took and gave a job, and they were in prison, they had a felony, but got a door that opened, and when the door opened, they didn't take it for granted, but the yeah. chef came out. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 
Hallelujah. Because they understand prep. What does a prisoner go to jail for? Yeah. To be prepared to be introduced back into society. Yes. yes. So you cannot be injected into the world by God if you've not been injected with the kingdom. Right. Take Amen. It. Take it. He says, "With well, much tribulation, we must yes. go through to enter in." Yes. Amen. Preparation is so wonderful because it does. It gets you ready for something you haven't seen yet. Ooh. Yes. It gets you ready for something you haven't experienced. Yet. It didn't hurt. It gets you ready for something that has not come yet. Right. See, and, and there's ever been a time where we need to be ready for something that we have not experienced. Right. Or uh, something that has not come upon us yet. Yes. It's right now. Right. You see, that's what it does. It prepares you for something that's coming. Preparation always gets you ready for something that's coming. Revival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Even in fighting, even in fighting, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you used to box, didn't you? The uh, boxer, I didn't the know, boxer. I was in the streets. I was in the streets. Street. Okay. Yeah. But I was I'm a about, street fighter. But <laughs> what, what, what comes to mind? What comes to mind? It, it, uh, if Vanna Holyfield, of course, I love boxing. I, I love you know, This pray for me, and I like that kind of stuff. But anyway, Vanna yeah. <laughs> Holyfield was known for being a good counter puncher. See, a counterpuncher, now not only has to be prepared to fight, yes, but a counterpuncher has to be prepared to retaliate for what's coming. Mm -hmm. In other words, uh, if, if, if the opponent is going to throw a hook, he already has a jab ready yes. when the hook comes. Right. He has to prepare ahead. So he knows that if, when the hook is coming, then he, he's going to not yeah. only block it, He's going to jab. jab. See, it's two things at one time. Right. He's preparing himself uh, for what's coming. Mm. See, a counterpuncher prepares himself for what's coming. Right. Not only does he punch, not only does he defend himself, but he prepares himself to counter Amen. what's coming. And see, a lot of times we're not prepared. That's and that's the mindset. I'm not prepared. No. But yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a mindset. mindset. Absolutely. Well, you know, hey, uh, I have to ask myself, was I prepared for this? Mm. Yes. What could I have done to better prepare for this? Yeah. Uh, preparation is so important. And Jesus said, I'll go to prepare a place Come on. for you. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Come so on. we hadn't seen it, but oh, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, Jesus is preparing yes. us Come for on. something that we haven't experienced and that, seen yet. That's the wedding. That's the wedding yeah. for the bride. He said, he said, I prepare a place for the where I am. There you may be also. I prepare for you. Yes. My, yeah. If he can prepare for us, why can't we prepare for him? Even after uh, death. Come on. Even in death. <laughs> yeah. the if he don't prepare for us, why can't we prepare for him? Even in the wedding. Yeah. Re remember the, the, the five foolish and the five wise. <laughs> <laughs> we just stopped talking. It's, pre it's all about preparation. Yes. Come it's on. all about preparation. Being ready. Being ready. Yes. Let me ask beforehand. You. Beforehand. Beforehand. Okay, then that's expectation. Looking, expectation. That's looking, so looking cool. and Come waiting. On. Look, they were looking and listening and waiting See? for that sound. See. But at, but understanding that whatever state I'm in, I gotta be content therein. Yes. So for us today, I think today people so people always think that you know, well, I haven't heard from God and I I don't feel like I God don't feel God. I don't feel this. I don't know this or this emotionalism. <laughs> That, are that, you saying? That, that, yeah, <laughs> but you go through some times, that you, and, and, and I think this, a lot of people don't realize, when as a preachers and pastors and leaders and understanding, it's real easy to point everything Elder Hill, Pastor Washington didn't do right. Because I was easy from the outside, but I've never been in the preparation of them by themselves with God, crying, Lord, this is too much. Lord, me? Lord, why me? And then you're sitting back and wondering, Lord, am I doing things right? Because even as men of God, we have a perception or an expectation that we want to see see the, the abundance of yeah. greatness. But yeah. then what happens when you don't see what you know right. you thought you right. saw, right. but doesn't look like what you dreamed? Because right. Joseph had no clue yes. that what he right. dreamed about was going to take him through what he I'm went through to Joseph. get to what he yeah. saw. Yeah. Yeah. Because this don't look nothing uh -oh. like you showed uh -oh. me. Uh -oh. Because all God gave Joseph was a jail. But Joseph had an excellent spirit character. Yes. He had excellent yes. character that if I'm going to be in jail, I'm going to be the best here. Yes. No matter if I'm in the hole, 
I'm going to produce something because I went in a dry hole, but I came out to get an anointing. Amen. Amen. Spice and people, uh, sellers of spices yes, and oils. Yes. So I went down because you can't get a crop or get a, a harvest to your plant of seed. That's it. David went Start down and came up. Yes. Amen. Yes. But even everything was done to him. He, when you've gone through a process uh, like that, that that when you stand before uh, the very people God. that put you there, yeah. they can't even notice that you are who you are, mm. and you're standing in front of the person you lied on, you took my door, my coat, yeah, you, you took every, you, I, my father, my family, but it was part of the process of promotion. And God had to prepare me that I don't want your daddy's coat on you. Uh -huh. I don't want nothing that your family gave you. But I'm going to uh -huh. put a kingdom. Because uh -huh. you're going to save a nation. That's right. Uh, but if you can't lose a little, you can never win and rule many. You gotta have and and the process, he just had a dream. Yes. Just Joseph dream. just had a dream. What did it turn out? Because I don't know if I'm not mistaken, Elder, correct me. But I don't hear God speaking to him through any of the things he went through when he was there but God had gave him favor in the jail yes he gave him but it doesn't say that he was he just lived looking for a dream in Potter's house he did too because he said I see that God had lived him because everything he touched Pot Potter saw it yes the yes. enemy saw it is it right. Oh. yes right so oh. come on right he, he saw that in him that everything he touched that he had the favor of God on him yes so you, you, had, a king, you had a kingdom that was coming yeah to overrule a kingdom that was already there yes. yes but God had to get an inside man yes yes can God put you inside yes. work you down through the back through up. the system yeah work you in yeah. to bring you up but look yeah. what he had to go through to get yeah. you yeah he had to go through by experience by experience yeah so we're going. So we're going to go through a lot of things oh, man. in this world today. So I think uh, from your heart, um, in the condition today, I know your heart from what we see today, um, as far as with uh, God's people and with the world, are we losing focus and losing our heart and our, our zeal after God? Because it's like today, it's like to get people to do anything anymore, or people's joy for doing things, for serving the Lord, seems to have 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 died out. And I think if we remember where he brought us from, what he yes. brought us through, yes. and you constantly, yes. that's one of the things I'm always testifying, always, anything I do, reminding myself what he took you through, what yes. he brought you through. Yes. Uh, and I shared with you this, that we want a church to be full and healthy, but you can't have a healthy church with broken homes. No, 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 no not at all, not at all. And so with these strategies, what he has to do, uh, I'm going to go to the temples. Okay? Come on. Uh, he's he's making the temples mobile again, mm -hmm. and what I mean by that, you know, he's taking he's taking us out of the, the, the brick and mortar, the wood. <laughs> he's he's forced words. us out in order for these temples, the temples of God, to be mobile. We can do better. We can work better. We can do uh, the ministry, the call of the ministry, the Great Commission, better. When the temples are mobile, mm. Amen. See, all right. It, it, the devil would have us think that he has immobilized us. <laughs> yes, but us not been able to come like we want to into the place, right? The temple, the tabernacle to yeah. worship. Go ahead. But, 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 but the, what the, we, we're, we're tabernacles. We're not stationary. We're living. Tabernacle, yes. my people. Uh, and, and, and so what God is doing, He's allowing this. If we would yield and understand and get out of our senses and get into the spirit realm, mm. that we are being mobile temples. Hallelujah. Doing the work in the will of God. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm expecting a great move of God through this. I'm expecting a great yes. revival. Yes, there I'm is. I'm excited yes. about it. Glory to God. I have to go to Joel. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying, I'm trying, I can hardly get yeah. through. Yeah. I'm waiting on Joel to be my final one to share. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because my God. Hallelujah. He said, Come on, he, said he said, he said in the last days, I'm going to pour out. Hallelujah. Woo! 
glory to God. Now spit upon all, all flesh. flesh. Old oh, men to dream dreams. Young men to see visions. Yes. Upon your sons and daughters. He said, I'm going to pour out my spirit. Mm, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. I'm anticipating. Yes. I'm expecting, Pastor. I'm expecting saints. Hallelujah. Yes. An outpouring of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Glory to God. That's what he's preparing for. Yes. He's got to have mobile temples. Yes. Amen. Pentecost <laughs> all over. Amen. Yes. Also, because yes. you got to remember that when you look at tabernacle and tents, and yeah. they had no roof That's on. Good man. They had, there were no roofs on. Right. So God says, I can't come in if you got roofs on. <laughs> so the tabernacle had to be an open concept. Even your booths. Come on now, your, your booths, booths, yeah. booths had to yeah. be open. Yeah. It had to be open you, to, to remind you yeah. that yeah. I'm leading. Yeah. Come yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> My salvation draw is closer than you thought it was. Yeah, you got to look up oh, and man. remember. You got to remember <laughs> what I've done for you. Amen. 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 So I understand Amen. everything that we're talking. It takes us back, and this here is what the t the tabernacles, yes. the temples. We yes. we get to mobile and come together, sit at His table, eat from His hand. Yes, Lord. But also to understanding that our number one goal is to remind people the government's on His shoulders. Yes. His government. His government. His, government. His kingdom. Yes. We got to remember that government. Yes, sir. That's where your source is. That's man. your government. That's good stuff. So then you got to understand the government and the principles of what the government stands for. You got to understand his government. Yes. But understand that we're just passing through here. Yes. And I think too many people have settled right. and put up state uh -huh. and, and bought land. Uh-oh. <laughs> And sits to stay. Uh -oh. So we got to remember I'm yes, passing man. through oh, and I'm looking for a kingdom not made by <laughs> man's hands. So as I pass through, I can be in it, but not of but it. Not a, mm. Hallelujah. I can go through it and not be touched. Not be touched. That's what oh, he said. John said, Come on. I'm in the world, but, but not of the, the world. And he said it all. I pray for them that the evil of it doesn't come on them. Yes. So there's world. edges. Yes. So, so, then, I, so that I can be in it yes. on, and keep my distance. Ooh. Yes. Right. Oh. Yes. And not be affected. Not Nothing. social distance, but spiritual distance. Come on. Spiritual distance. Come on. Yes. Because so we need social that's distance. That's because of the power. Okay. But understand, while you're getting social distance, Remember, we gotta have spiritual distance. That's but, okay, well, but we're in it, but we're not of it. How much? Okay, Corona affects what the flesh, right? Right. Right. So, and this is the affection of the flesh. So, Corona should not be able to affect your spirit. That's it. Mm. It can't touch. It, you. So, come on. It, you, so, if you're allowing understanding the principles of just the natural, yes. but how many times have we gone around or been in and out amongst those in this before all this came up? And God kept you. Mm -hmm. Yes. From and the seen and unseen. Yes. In the midst. In the midst of it all. Yes. But now you're looking. If somebody even <coughs> yes. you can call for even yes. thinks you yes. get into this. Oh, yeah. you know. But but, but if, if we are in God, yeah. there's no fear. Yeah. It, you mentioned Joseph earlier. I like that. We need to allow Corona to force us to Goshen. Ooh. Mm. Come on. Because when Corona forces us to Goshen, Goshen means drawing nearer. Come on. <laughs> and Joseph said, long as yes. you stay in Goshen, yes. long as you stay near me, yes. you're going to be protected. Come on. You're going to have everything you need. Come on. See? So we need to make sure that we're drawing nearer. Yes. You say, if you draw near to me, I draw, draw near, near to you. Exactly. And Goshen is drawing near. Let's 